you stay in the crouch position, keep your head low, uh, any loose articles, uh, your helmets and other loose items uh, keep tucked into your body. Today the crews are undertaking their hover exit certification and this is a certification they have to do every year to make sure that they can exit a helicopter safely. Second foot on skid. Okay, he's now out. And you'll want to go to your handhold here. We have to be able to do this to uh, get to fires in very remote locations like the terrain that we have around Hope. Um, if the terrain is very steep, the aircraft isn't able to set down, so the uh, people have to be able to leave the helicopter while it's still in the air. When you're using the uh, seatbelt at that home, you want to grab the inside part. You know, just in case it ever did invert in the open. They do an exceptional job. They get over 92% of the fires under two hectares in size, and that's a real accomplishment. Think of it as somebody handing you a baby. You, yeah. You don't let go Slowly. until you feel that they fully have you, right? There's days where you just really you can't believe you're getting paid to be up flying around and seeing these things, and uh, and uh, it's just it's just great to be able to to be outdoors and sort of pushing yourself and pushing yourself physically and and seeing seeing extreme fire behavior happen. Uh, right in front of you and and uh, hopefully make, making a, an impact, a positive impact. Uh, when the helicopter arrives with the bucket, the crews can attach the probe into the bucket and draw water from a full bucket and essentially filling the still wells. Bambi Bucket revolutionized helicopter bucketing and that was the first collapsible water bucket which means that it could be stowed away inside the helicopter, transported to fires. And upon arriving at the fire, you could take the bucket out of the helicopter, attach it to the cargo hook, and essentially start fighting fire right in the spot. Our crews do respond to a lot of wildfires that actually they shouldn't need to. What we really need for people to do is take a great deal of care when they're out in the forest to realize how dry it is and how easy it is for something to start. If they do have a campfire, please make sure that it's out completely before they leave the area. It should be cold to the touch. And if they are, do have any burning substances like cigarettes, be very careful how they discard them.